वेलकम बैक टू टेक नगट्स दिस इज एट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ इंस्टॉल सीरीज वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल रेडीज ऑन विंडोज टेन बिफोर वी गेट इन टू टूडे वीडियो लेट मी डू ए क्विक पैनल एनालिटिक्स इन लास्ट ट्वेंटी एट डेज देर आर वन पॉइंट टू के व्यूज ऑन दिस चैनल थैंक यू व्यूअर्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट ओवर If you look at the subscribers number, it's only eight. It is very very low, and it is not that encouraging number. Still, there is a progress. Out of this views, there is only eight point one percentage of views from subscribers, and massive nineteen one point nine percentage views are from non-subscribers. i need your support in increasing the subscribers count and that will encourage me to add more content so if you have not subscribed yet please scroll down and hit the subscribe button just a fun fact an average it takes 0.2 seconds to click a button and also clicking a button burns about 1.4 calories so why don't you subscribe and stay fit anyway just a fun fact if you like technical content you are in the right place i will be posting lot of interesting technical videos on this channel please stay tuned and for more details on topics coverage read channel description okay let us dive into today's video and start with quick introduction redis is one of the popular open source in memory key value database and used as application cache streaming engine and message broker and it supports abstract data structures such as strings list maps and set etc it keeps the data set in memory for fast access but also it can persist all writes to permanent storage to survive reboots and system failures and redis is a production ready with a high availability and clustering it's available on cloud docker image and local installs with the linux and windows operating system so redis have native support on linux however installing on windows involves different process so most of the production grade redis systems are running on linux if the developer uses windows system then better to have a local windows version for development purpose even in installing on windows there are multiple ways to install like uh, using a virtual machine um, on doc docker image or docker image or using windows linux subsystems or use a binary to install native style so in this video i will be showing installing redis with the native style with native binaries uh, the this please note this native binaries are a little bit old i'm picking it from archives Our it serves the purpose. Finally, the popularity is spoken by the its number. There are four plus, according mm -hmm. to Redis dot io, there are four billion plus Docker pools and fifty k plus GitHub stars, and it's supported with fifty plus programming language. For more details, please visit Redis dot io. Let's get started. Okay, let us ah. Uh, Go ahead and install Redis on Windows from native binaries. In order to do that, ah, uh, you need to go to this URL. Ah, uh, it's a Microsoft Archive URL. I leave this link in the description so that you can use it. So we'll take three dot o dot five o four. So in the archive, that is the latest. and there are two formats what we have one is msi and another one is zip so we'll be taking the zip one um let's go ahead and download this okay it's downloaded now go ahead and look at in the look into the explorer and unzip it and use it okay. 
okay we have it on the explorer this is a file what i will do i will create this uh, move this file under c drive then we'll unzip it so how do i do that me have another window in fact you can unzip wherever you want but uh, for my convenient i'm keeping it under c drive and unzip it okay done it so so these are the content of the zip so it's it's quite easy to start uh, just we need to go to command line and start the ready server.exe in order to do that let's look into the command line okay let us examine the content of this folder right one is um, there are major things okay there is one is configuration file and you have a client and you have a server so these are the major files uh, let's open this um, configuration file um, me bring up this okay so what we have um gives a basic configuration what is 1k 1kb uh, the main thing which we have to look at it is a port number then the localhost the ip where it's binding okay importantly saving for example um a redis is one one good feature of redis is it can save the files uh, save the keys sorry not of the files the keys periodically based on number of seconds for example 900 seconds is of 15 minutes uh, we can configure the way you want to save okay the good part of this um this is the configuration file i am not changing anything because i am running locally and this will create a db file pdb file in this folder itself if you want you can for example it's a rdb file it's a db file name dot rdb dump dot rdb that is a file it will create in this video. okay so i'm not changing anything i'll use as is um because it's a local project i don't need to change much of this um now as a next step let us go ahead and open this in command prompt and execute the commands okay. okay now let us open the client to access this ready server in order to do that i'll open another command line prompt and run redis client cmd i'll keep the server running Keep this side by side if anything happens you can see the first thing um it's connected not connected right we need to run a command reduce cli so it's connected to the local host that is uh, 6379 that's a port number which i showed in the config right and it's connected how do you know it's connected just you ping you should get a pong so that's a response what you get from the server it's connected if not you can use a connect command to connect to the server with the port number if you have any if you have changed the port number you can use connect command to port. then let's see um info server. so it will give you which port um process pid os all that it's going to give so another command just to clear this console is clear we'll get it okay as a next step as you know the redis is a key value store let's set some key 
and values so how do we do it say i want to say hello world this can be anything it can be as complex as you can in fact put a json file json content as a string okay as long as um you're not putting any binary it it is an in the form of string you can set the value and get the values now let's say hello space world okay what are you getting here yes. okay means you set the value let's set one more key I said hello. It's a typo. Typo instead of hello, it became hell. Now, how do you get this value? Get hello. Get this. Um, for example, I wanted to search. Uh, what are the keys you have? Um, with key search pattern. Okay, let's say keys. Tl star. You will get all the keys. Let's set one more key. Okay. Set world. Now let's say keys. L star. You have three keys. Okay. So this is how uh, we set the keys in using command line. In in real time, you may not be using a command line. You will use a driver, and uh, you will access through program something like a Python or Node.js, and you set the values and get the values programmatically. So as you know, it is high speed cache. It can sit between your uh, database and application to speed up your application performance. Now. We have set the value get the value if you want to say i want to delete some of the keys it's so easy it's a del command del the keys are on so let's see Voila. so you have done it so as i mentioned so this can flush the value for example you wanted to um keep saving these keys periodically you can use the command flush so that it can save the values otherwise whatever the specified uh, time uh, within the specified seconds it will uh, keep writing this keys into the file so when next time you start this um, redis automatically the keys will be um, brought back from the file so that you have it in the memory so this is all i wanted to show you today uh, if you like this video please uh, like it share it most importantly subscribe it follow me on twitter thank you very much